someone was trying to tie you down, it was a man with magic. On the bottom of the deck, the ten of swords. Everything is fine. You may be going through a lot right now. More than likely, you're going through a whole lot. A whole lot of attacks, spiritual attacks, so on and so forth. A lot of people betraying you. People, places, people, more like people. People leaving, just, just a feeling of not being well. Um, there could be rain, feeling off, you know, just feeling down. Those feelings, we're going to take our power back from them, I assume, with this, rest, with this reading. Right, but I'm telling you, someone has been trying to hold you down. You know how the ten of swords looks already, ten swords in one person. Right, and you've been bearing it. You've been feeling like, you just feel like you're not thinking clearly. You don't feel inspired. It's someone that has been doing magic on you. And for so long, we've been tiptoeing around the situation, not wanting to speak about it, not wanting to admit it. Right? So we're going to see if we're going to be delivered in this reading, the Ace of Swords truth. Because I feel like we're not telling any lie. Like someone has also been trying to lie on you, defame you, discredit you, to like falsehood. Right? Falsehood. So that they can keep a block on your money, your financial flow. Alright? They're, they're keeping things like slow for you. Because, um, let's say this is, for example, I'm seeing a police officer making a false like, report on you or a false claim on you because this particular person is filthy. You know what I'm saying? They're no bueno. What this person did was to create something false about you um, so that they now can have like their supervisor or their boss put a hold on you. That's what I'm telling you. So, um... That's what's going on. But if you if you are to get to this head, this person's boss, this person's supervisor, you would be able to prove yourself. So someone is trying to keep you from speaking, from proving yourself, from getting something out there. I'm, I don't, yo, I'm telling you, this is the truth. Eight of Swords. Eight of Cups, sorry. Right? Eight of Cups energy. Three of Cups energy right here so i'm feeling love and celebration this is giving me the energy of a reflection i hear a mother someone could also be a capricorn someone could have been envious and jealous someone did something that they did not want you to talk about someone did something that they wanted to get away with and um for some reason you were sn you were snooping around and getting close and getting close to figuring something out you were getting close. You were asking too many questions. This person resorted to spirituality. Mind you, this video might not even save to how powerful this is because they may be um, infiltrating the devices and so on and so forth. But this person in your life, they don't. They they wanted to happily get away with something. Let's say someone did a bank robbery, for example, hypothetically speaking. And um, they they somehow got away with this. Someone has been taking someone's money, yeah. And they've been they have been getting away with it. But some way you like something keeps coming up where you are the one that is somehow like interfering with them fully, like being free to enjoy the splurge, to splurge. And so they're like, well, we got to get this one down. So they came to you. They came to sort. To, they came to seek you out. To put a damper upon your speaking, upon your clarity. Like this heaviness. They just wanted you suppressed. They wanted to hold you down. Maybe you were publishing something in the newspaper. And they wanted to like to get you to not work anymore. I'm getting home alone vibration. Where these people, they are robbers yeah this is what they do they want to take but you were like you were like you were like curious nosy snooping around seeing things that other people weren't seeing putting pieces together that other people weren't putting together this person was afraid i'm not saying they're completely evil but they did something to block you to stop you to prevent you from speaking to prevent you from investigating to prevent you from putting the information out there they were scared they were scared of getting caught you made this person very scared two of cups 
so they sent someone to you this could be a feminine energy as well they sent someone toward you to target you so um, they, they were monitoring you and they sent a target to your way. This is a money reading. Why are all these hearts on the table and the queen of wands? Someone wanted to like um come to you, flirt with you, give you attention. But it's these people, that they have been watching you. And I feel it's a group of them. Right? These people need to release your money, release your funds, release your voice box. They need to release your your life. They need to take 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 whatever they put on you off of you. Look, wow, I'm not playing. Guess which card is next? The ten of wands. Ten of swords and ten of wands in a money reading is not good. So you need to speak the truth, find a way. I'm feeling like it's the energy of someone being like this woman that has been going through a lot. And we're telling her, speak up, defend yourself. And she's saying, no, it's okay. And it's someone that has gotten so used to, to whatever you're going through, the spiritual warfare, the lack of money, the struggling. People laughing at you, people like casting evil look at you, dirty looks at you. This is what they wanted to do to you. They wanted to take from you the inspiration that you had, the, the joy, the light, whatever you found that was bringing you life. It was bringing them misery. And it feels to them like you were standing in their way and you didn't know that you were standing in someone's way by seeking the truth, by, by digging up things that they thought was long buried. For some reason, you found a clue. You were just, you're an investigator, you're a reporter, something, you're a tarot reader. Let's not beat around the bushes anymore. You're a spiritualist, you're a truth teller. You have clairvoyance. So you pick up a piece of clue from somewhere because this is how you roll. The most I just send you these things. All right, and you pick up peace as a, as a, as a, as a high priestess, as an oracle. Things just happen to you, omens and signs and symbols. And you speak, you, you try to look into it, you follow your spirit, right? You follow your spirit, you follow your spirit. Then someone is saying, I'm seeing like you're like this old woman or Nancy Drew. I'm telling you, this is just by chance that this came, but it wasn't exactly by chance. You know, it's like from the most high, from the universe that sent these this information to you, right? But to you, it's like just by chance because you didn't go looking for it, right? Now, these people like try to put a curse on you, put a spell on you. Mm-hmm. Best believe me, with the sepulchre energy, this is the energy of... So, a sepulchre is a small room. Our monument cut in a rock are built in stone in which a dead person is laid or buried. They wanted to take from you. They wanted to bring you down. They were trying to tarnish your name, ruin you. And they came acting like they were your friends. Like it was a feminine energy that somehow wanted you out of the way. And this could be like jealousy over money. They thought that someone was just intimidated by you, by your potential. They saw that someone was going to choose you. For some of you, it is some, um, like, yeah, they sent evil eyes targets at you. Some of them, it is your ex-friends. Your ex-friends that were jealous about some man energy, the emperor. Right? And they made it a point of their duty to target you. You, if you should know, you need this energy, you need to like clean yourself up so it does not come on you and that it backfires. Right? Because there are people that don't like when you speak the truth and there are people that don't want to, like they, they hate to see you get chosen. They don't like to see like you get all this admiration. Like I, all eyes on you. Wow. This is it. Three of Diamonds is admiration, compliments, all eyes on you. Someone is jealous of that. Yes, Knight of Wands, reversal, energy. A lot of jealousy and competition and biting. And so they wish the worst upon you. Yes, Four of Swords. I hear Capricorn, Policeman, Knight, something about Knight, right? But I'm getting a savior energy is coming for you. It's coming through like even right now. Wow, the sun literally just fell. A savior energy coming for you right now. Right now as we speak, the truth is coming out. 
they're being exposed and you're getting your power back all in one three in one combo because it's like i can't believe this look the three of swords the three of swords is on the table for your money reading i see family i see family there was a man too that has a lot of money all right that was in your life a part of ex perhaps someone that somehow loved or respected you in some way shape or form four of cups this person you separate your energy from them you pull away from them right so this could have been what caused the jealousy or the, the the tension the tension here because some money came to you and you were like i'm over it you refused you used your discernment your trust in your you were in your hard space you were choosing yourself and then it broke someone else's heart someone else got bitter triggered upset bothered by a stance that you took how you felt about yourself, you the, how you valued yourself, your standards, four of cups and knight of pentacles. You're like, I'm not settling for less. I know who I am. I, I trust myself. The two of swords is next. You, you are so smart. You outsmarted someone's plan too. You saw it coming. You're such a spiritually deserving. You're so discerning in your spirit. It's unbelievable. Because other people were like misjudging you. They didn't understand why you made a call or how you move, how you move. But you know what you know. You know that these people were after you. You know that they were trying to put your light out. Because they, they were telling themselves that you were not their favorite. You, they, you were causing chaos, chaos in these people's lives because you're such a light worker. You, it's almost like you have zero filters when your crystal, the crystal light of you just beams out. It's unfiltered. That's what I'm saying for your money message. So I'm feeling like there's, yes, there's coming a time for sure, sun card, as I split the deck and the four of wands. That you're going to get your, your mercy back, your grace, your harmony, your peace. Your, this is like, -na -na -na. this is like you know, being in a royal courtyard, refresh energy. You're going to get your, the refresh that you need. The re-inspiration and everything. These people are not going to bring you down. This could be an ex-man of yours. This could be an ex's person, an ex-family member. Your ex, I'm telling you, it's like some past people that have some type of a, something toward you still. That they're trying to like get you to mess up. They're trying to send wrong people to you. They're trying to mess up, um, get you to make bad decisions with your money. They want you chaotic and fighting and in turmoil. And I feel like these are people that were like they were so jealous of you. I have pray over you in some way. If you, if I don't know, I like I pray and hope that your energy clears up, that these swords come out of your back. That you get your reputation back, you get your freedom back, and I pray your uh, your money floods into your life abundantly, non-stop, supreme, extreme, continual, from a strong, the strongest source of wealth ever. Right? 